Okay, so let's talk about testicular torsion. Testicular torsion is a surgical emergency where the testicle basically twists on itself and cuts off its blood supply. And you have a matter of hours to surgically go in and untwist it and stitch it in place. Now, this typically happens in teenage boys around the age of puberty because that's when the testicle is starting to grow in size. The thought is that this is essentially a congenital defect. The testicle should be stuck to the scrotum in a way that doesn't allow it to twist. But in some boys, it never that connection never develops properly. And so then as they go through puberty and the testicle grows, it can have this sort of pendulum effect and twist on itself and out of nowhere create this emergency situation where the boy will complain of, of testicular pain all of a sudden. Now, we say teenage boys, but it technically could happen in, in any man. It'd be extremely rare to happen after the age of, of 30, but it can happen uh, in their 20s and it can happen in, in younger boys, uh, even as, as early as newborns. But typically we think about it in kind of that teenage year where the testicle is, is first starting to grow. So when this happens, uh, first of all, it's nothing that the that the kid did, right? It's not because he was playing with it or did any sport or activity that caused this to happen. This was just something that was likely bound to happen uh, in that kid. Uh, the main thing, the most important thing is the timing. If somebody comes to the emergency room quickly enough, it's not really a big deal. It's uh, a minor surgery, about 30 minutes, and we save the testicle and it's never going to happen again because we stitch it in place. And we also, while we're there, put some stitches in the other side just to make sure you never have the problem on the other side. The issue is always the timing. So sometimes uh, the parents will sort of kind of ignore it. The boy's just complaining for no reason. Or in even a worse situation, they bring the boy to the emergency room and the emergency room doesn't recognize the problem. Sometimes the boy will complain of abdominal pain instead of testicular pain either because the pain is referred to his abdomen or he's just embarrassed to say where the pain is and the emergency room will start working him up for appendicitis or something and the hours are going by and the testicle doesn't have blood supply. So sort of as a, a key teaching point in emergency medicine or general surgery is any boy with abdominal pain needs a testicular exam even if they're not complaining of it. The exam is usually pretty obvious when somebody has a torsion but if there's any uncertainty, uh, an ultrasound, which is readily available in every emergency room, diagnoses it essentially 100%, just shows no blood flow to the testicle. The surgeon gets, gets called, and usually it's the urologist, gets called and we activate this as a, as a level one emergency. We're going straight to the operating room, no questions asked. So uh, if you're an older patient watching this video, you probably can, can ignore this unless you have kids or grandkids and you should educate your your family about this this possibility it's not extremely common but it's also not very rare I take a lot of call at our at our children's hospital as the urologist on call and I deal with it maybe once a week when I'm on call if I take a call for a whole week so um, it's definitely not not a rare phenomenon so it is something uh, worth knowing if, if a boy or a teenager or a young man starts to have sudden onset testicular pain this is an emergency get to the emergency room right away and have this treated. Uh, we can save the testicle and prevent this from ever happening again. Unfortunately, I have, I have had to remove a lot of testicles in people who have waited too long to come in. And it's, it's very uh, sad and unfortunate. They still uh, can live a normal life with one testicle. We stitch that one in place to make sure it never moves. And they usually have normal testosterone levels and normal fertility as they get older but they sort of lost their, their spare tire, so to speak. So it's good to have two of everything. So if you don't want this to happen to you, you have to really be, be on top of it if, if you do get a, a torsion.